Welcome to today's movement and meditation class. My name is Cindy. Today we will be working on our core and some squats, so building some strength. This is a wonderful practice to use early in the morning to start your day and become really focused and concentrated for whatever lies ahead. Also, it's a wonderful practice just to use to build some strength and link some breath with movement, creating a little bit of peace and a little bit of calmness. If you like the practice today, please subscribe to my channel and share this video with somebody who you think might benefit from it. Also, please drop a comment below if you feel any kind of energy shift or if you have any questions about our practice today. Let's begin. We're going to meet on our mat. and We will begin our opening breath work lying down. So make yourself comfortable, maybe bend your knees, sway your hips, your legs from side to side. Take a moment to get your shoulders organized and make sure your neck is nice and loose as we lay on our mat. Put a, um, a blanket on top of you for a moment. And while we lie here, let's also start to breathe in and out through our nose. This is our first conscious breath work of the day. So let's just allow the natural flow to rise and fall from our nose. As we move into our practice, we can begin to lengthen the breath. But for now, let's just get ourselves ready, settled, and sort of feathering our nest here. So we begin to prepare to start our practice. And get yourself centered on your mat, make yourself comfortable, get your hips organized and maybe move them around a little bit. Continuing to breathe in and out through your nose and maybe let's start to lengthen those breaths. Let's take a moment to bend our knees with our feet flat on the ground and let's gently tilt our pelvis up tilt our pelvis down. This is a really small movement just to help us remind ourselves of where our neutral spine is. Now come to stillness. This is our neutral spine. Let's begin with our double leg raises. Uh, we can start with our knees bent as we begin to move into the practice. You can take your hands and gently press them under your hips for a little extra support. Let's start with our feet flat on the ground. Find your neutral spine. Neck is nice and loose. And with your first inhale, engage your abdominal area and raise your knees. Raise those legs up. Exhale, allow them to touch down on the mat. Let's inhale, raising those feet. Exhale down. Now maybe you'd like to straighten those legs with your inhale. Feet are flexed, toes pointed towards your forehead, and slowly lower as you begin to lengthen your breath. If you would like to make this a little bit more difficult, don't allow your feet to touch the mat in between the raises. Another way to add on to the challenge is to have your hands resting on the mat beside you. Do what feels right. Do what allows you to keep your spine safe and to link your breath with movement. Breathing in, slow, long, deep breaths in, really extending the movement and slowly working your legs up with those Feet flexed, toes pointed towards your head, protecting our knees. Focusing on your core, really engaging those abdominals so that we use our uh, core muscles rather than the front hip flexors to lift our legs. Slowing down the movement adds a little bit of challenge and bending the knees removes a little bit of the challenge. 
Do what feels right. Make this your movement so that you can allow the breath to flow. And let's raise those feet all the way up into the air. Take a deep breath here and slowly, gracefully lower your legs all the way down to the ground. Take a moment here if your hands are under your hips, place them to your side, allow your feet and legs to relax for just a few moments. Breathing in long, slow and deep through your nose. And gracefully, slowly exhaling through your nose. This is where we rest and recuperate, getting ready for the next set of movements. Let's bend our knees again with the soles of our feet flat on the mat, just to help us get our hands under our hips. This movement is very similar to the first, but it is alternate leg raises. So continue to let raise one leg at a time. Feet are flexed and pointed here, protecting our knees, allowing the breath to guide the movement. Knees can be as bent as they need to encourage a neutral spine. If you would like to add on, don't allow your heels to touch the mat in between leg raises. Making the movement slow will also add on to the challenge. Do what feels right to make this movement yours. Remembering to engage our core and being mindful of our spine pressing into the mat so that we really begin to use our abdominal muscles. We're here for just a little bit longer. We're really giving our midsection a strong workout this morning. It's okay if you're a bit shaky just keep going, take a break if you need, bend the knees if you need. We're almost done. Keeping your feet flexed and those toes pointed towards your forehead as best you can. This protects our knees. And with your next breath in, let's raise both feet all the way to the sky. And very slowly, gently, gracefully, allow both of those legs to fall towards the mat. Nice controlled movement here. And when you reach the mat, take your hands out from under your hips if that's where they are, and just take a moment to catch your breath and relax here. Absorb the energy of these movements. Feel how the energy may be shifting in your body, beginning to really awaken our core, getting our blood flowing. Let's take a long, slow, deep breath in and pause and gently let it all out. We're going to meet in tabletop. So let's rock and roll our way up into a seated position or alternately roll over onto your side, press yourself up. And let's meet on our hands and knees. Taking a moment to check our alignment so that our wrists are under our shoulders and our knees are under our hips. 
Our first movement is an extended cow pose. So in extended cow, our bellies are dropped, our chin comes up. We're going to send our right leg back, toes can rest on the mat here, noticing our hips staying equal to the mat. So again, in a neutral position, the inclination might be for that right hip to move up as you send your leg back. We're going to encourage it to stay even with the other side. Let's bring our knee back to the mat. Let's send our left leg back. Toes can touch on the mat here as we prepare to increase the challenge. Just use this initial movement to bring awareness to your hips. And let's exhale that knee back. And now with our next movement, we're going to inhale that right leg all the way up. Exhale back down to the mat. Inhale the left leg all the way up. Chin remains raised in this position. Pay attention to your hips. Exhale, knee down to the mat. Inhale the right leg up. Pressing into the mat with your fingertips and your hands as you raise. Feel the challenge to your glutes and exhale down. Continue doing this in a way that feels right for you and at a pace that feels right for your breath. Focus on the muscles that are contracting as we raise our leg. And let the breath guide the movement. Pushing into the fingertips to alleviate some of the strain on the wrists. Engaging the back muscles as you raise up high. Maybe pause for a moment. Exhale as you bring your knee back to the mat. Come to neutral. Let's take our knees mat width apart and begin to push our hips back for child's pose as an opportunity to give our wrists and hands a little bit of a break. Let's rest our forehead on the mat or rest your forehead on your hands, whatever feels right. And breathe here, nice deep breaths in, feeling that rib cage expand, maybe imagining the breath creating space in between each rib as you breathe in. And as you exhale, allow your belly to soften. Bringing your spine to your navel, which is a very concentrated movement in this particular position. Feel the energy shift as we move and stay still in child's pose. With your next breath in, let's raise your forehead first off the ground. Let's bring our hands back out in front, raising our hips up, meeting back in tabletop. We're going to do extended cow pose again, but this time we add on with our arms. So as we send our right leg back and up, our left arm comes forward, challenging our balance here, keeping our hips equal and neutral to the floor. Exhale, hand and knee to the mat. 
Inhale, left leg up, right arm comes forward. Feel the challenge, maybe rest here for a moment. Exhale, hand and knee down to mat. Inhale, right leg up, left arm up. Exhale, hand and knee back to mat. Let's do that on the other side. Left leg raises up high, right arm comes forward. Fingers are engaged and energized. Exhale, back down. Continue this in a way that feels right for you. If it doesn't feel right to raise your leg, you can keep your toes on the mat. That is a wonderful variation. Slowing down the movement. If you'd like to slow down the breath. An alternative for your arms is to just simply reach your arm out and touch the mat in front of you. I'd like you to explore some of these variations if they feel right for you. And explore what happens to the movement as maybe you speed up or slow down your breath. Maybe you'd like to explore the movement and change how it feels. Change how long you can hold. As we stretch out, really imagine the front fingers pushing forward and the sole of that back foot pushing against the wall behind you and raise up as high as you can. If you'd like to add on to the challenge, after you raise up, maybe can you add on a little more? Can you hold there a little longer? What does your breath tell you? Is your breath a little shaky as we really work our full body here, challenging our balance, challenging our core, challenging the backs of the legs, the backs of the arms, pushing into the earth as we raise up with our other arm on the mat. And let's come to neutral, hands and knees on the mat. And let's go back into child's pose as a counter pose to all that lower back work. Breathe in and exhale your hips back to your heels. Allow the forearms to rest on the ground and let's bring your head down to the mat. Arms can be all the way out in front of you if you'd like to stretch them out. And let's just have three long breaths here. And with your next inhale, rise up, come over onto your hip and let's meet in a seated position. We're going to go into our frog squats here. So take a moment to get yourself into a position where you feel comfortable rising up and down. I like to start in a little bit of a squat with my fingertips on the ground to support me and then heels come together behind me. On our tippy toes here, we're going to breathe in and exhale our hips all the way up. Inhale, come on down. 
I'd like to show you an alternative. If you'd like to bring the earth a little bit closer to you, take a couple of yoga blocks and use this to rest your hands on. Heels, if possible, are touching behind you. We're on our tippy toes here. Inhaling as we come up, exhaling as we come down. And as you inhale and come up, can the crown of your head drop towards the floor? If it feels too much to have your heels really close together, if that's just too much of a challenge or it begins to hurt your lower back, by all means, take your feet further apart. And if you can't keep your heels up in between the squats, that's okay as well. We're working on building our strength here. Do what feels right. Do what is safe for your body, but still provides you a challenge. We've only got a few more here. These are tough, difficult movements that really get our heart rate going. They also stretch out the back body at the same time as they build strength. So we have some flexibility and strength building going on all at the same time. That's one of the reasons this is such a challenging movement. Let's do one more. And when you're ready, let's meet in a seated position. And just take a moment now to catch your breath. If you were using blocks, let's put them aside. Mm. Allow your breath to fall back into a rhythm that feels comfortable. Return back to breathing in and out through your nose if we lost our way with our breath. Our next movement is an arm movement. We're going to inhale our arms all the way up, asking our ribs to stay pointed down towards our hips. This is our inhale position. Inhale here. And let's exhale, opening up our arms. And continue to move your arms up and down with your breath. Do this in a way that feels right. Allow your breath to lead the movement. If it feels uncomfortable to have your arms all the way up, feel free to bend your elbows. Maybe just moving your forearms up and down. Fingers are strong and energized. The back body is strong. There is length in the spine and the neck is loose here. This movement asks a lot of our back. Although it is a slow and controlled movement, we're engaging a lot of muscles here. All across the front, back of the shoulder, some of the upper chest, all the way down into our lower back. And as we ask our ribs to stay in line with our hips, we're also engaging our core. Maybe close your eyes here. We're almost done. Keep up and you will be kept up. This is a difficult movement. And 
And with your next breath in, raise your arms all the way up and gracefully, slowly allow your arms to fall gently into your lap. Rest here for a moment, absorbing all the energy you've just created, all the adrenaline, And if you're sitting cross-legged, the invitation here may be to change the cross of your legs as we go into our meditation. Our hand mudra is Gyan mudra, thumb and forefinger to touch. Backs of the hands rest gently on the legs or the knees. Arms are straight but not locked. Chin is slightly tucked in, allowing for length in the spine. Begin to breathe in and out through your nose here and extend those breaths. Pause in between your inhale and your exhale. Focusing on the breath entering the body. Now focusing on the breath leaving your body. And you send the breath all the way to your lower lungs, expanding your belly as you breathe in. Keeping your spine long and tall. Keeping your breath controlled, pausing in between your inhales and your exhales. It's okay if we lose focus on our breath or we become distracted by physical sensation or sound. Just return back to a nice long inhale, pause, full exhale, and pause. Maybe your mental focus is on the pressure between your thumb and forefinger. Notice the thoughts that may come into your mind. Just give them a gentle nod and allow them to leave. Collectively, take a long, slow, deep breath in together. Pause, and as you exhale, allow your hands to fall naturally into your lap, and just relax. 
And now for our well-earned Shavasana. Shavasana in this particular Kriya begins with our legs crossed. If that doesn't feel right for your lower body, feel free to keep your legs straight. From a cross-legged position, we're going to rest our hands on our mat beside our hips, bending our elbows, slowly, gently making our way down to our mat. Our left hand comes onto our heart center, right hand rests on top of the left. And just allow your breath to return back to its natural rhythm here. If you'd like to take some blocks to support your knees as we rest here, that's an excellent variation. Allow your tongue to Relax in your lower palate. Allow your jaw to relax by maybe slightly opening up your mouth. Bring a slight smile to the inside of your mouth, allowing all the muscles in your face to relax. Dwell in your heart center here. With each breath in, Allow your hips to melt a little deeper into the mat. Maybe your ankles and shoulders can sink a little deeper. Maybe with each exhale, you can relax a little bit further. And wherever you're at, let's bend our knees and bring the soles of our feet to our mat. Remove the blocks if they're beside you. Gently roll over onto your side. And press yourself up into a seated position. Let's collectively Take a long, slow, deep breath in together. Pause and exhale. Let's bring our hands to prayer. Mental focus is in between the eyebrows and slightly above. Chin is slightly tucked in. I'm going to close up our practice today with a long set and a short noun. Set noun means truth is my name. Let's take a long, deep breath in together and join me if you wish. Sat Nam. Let's do that one more time. Long, slow, deep breath in together. Sat Set on. Let's bring our thumbs to our forehead, hands to the mat in front, or forehead to the ground. Closing up our practice, 
expressing some inner gratitude for showing up this morning on our mat and working so hard for ourselves, expressing our self-love and our own self-care. Set now. It was an honor to guide you in this practice this morning. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for allowing me to do this for all of us.